Change your diaper. I know it looks like a, it's supposed to be like a skirt, tunic skirt, but the way it's modeled, it looks like a diaper. <laughs> that just brings up a whole other... Oh, no. We, we had a discussion about this. Do we, do we dare talk about this on the show? What, the fact that there are people who are into people being dressed up in diapers? And you know people who got commissions for that shit. Oh my god, yeah. Do you want to tell the story? I mean, uh, you, you can go ahead and do that while I blaze through this game. Okay, alright. So, I had a friend um, in college who would take commissions. Now, the more exotic the commissions were, the more she would charge. <laughs> the, and define exotic. Um, the more kinky and fetishy they were. Because Yikes. she she did it on DeviantArt. And that is the... that I say this to somebody who has an account there, but man, is that place the bane of... That, that's where that's the site where Ark goes to die. <laughs> but continue. So, oh, first. Of death, my old enemy pursues me. Oh, he has a great voice. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. Ah, <laughs> uh, Zarok. He was a lot more flamboyant in the remake. But Paul uh, Paul Darrow was the guy who plays him. He was a British actor. I mean, this, this is actually a British game. It's Sony, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. And it was developed by a studio which is now called Gorilla uh, Studio... Gorilla Games, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, continue your gross fetish story. <laughs> so, she would take commissions, um... Depending on what the content was, she would increase her price. So, the final nail in the coffin that it would be, um, was there was a commission that was so bad, I, I remember being there while she drew it, it was so bad she actually stopped taking commissions altogether. Um, Dare we reveal the contents? Uh, I can if you want. I don't care. Children can't. Children shouldn't be watching the show. Okay. We, we curse like motherfuckers. Okay, so moms, if you're listening, to your kids walking, uh, watching this, fuck shit, cunt, uh, tits, bitch, ass. There. Now, 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 make your kid do your homework. Okay, so finally the um the the piece of art was it was a My Little Pony um art piece. So oh boy. Like, uh and it involved diapers, male pregnancy, e. um e. God, what else was in there? It was like diapers, male pregnancy, uh oh, and scat. Uh, I probably should have put a trigger warning before that discussion. I'm very, I'm very sorry to the people who have like, who are like just not don't want to hear that. I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, I, I, I regret not putting a trigger warning. I'll probably put one on the, uh, on like the, the the video and then when I edit this. But yeah, that's some pretty messed up stuff. Yeah, I I remember watching her draw that. Um, you were watching her drawing it. Yeah, she was really upset the whole time. She was like, I, I should never have, she's like, I should never have agreed to do this. She's like, I wonder if I can back out. <laughs> I mean, if they already paid, it's kind of hard. Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting. So I'm master of this game I am. I keep forgetting where the club is. You may continue. But yeah, that's about it. Oh, that, that was the end of the story. So, yeah. I should probably mention. Oh shit! Uh, I used. I have a bit of a confession to make. I used to be a brony. Used to. That's like, okay. I won't hold it against you. I mean, like I wasn't like into like uh, the dark side, as we'll call it. I I watched the show. I collected some of the figures. In fact, I think I still have my derpy hoops figure up in my on my shelf up here. Like I, I like I spent money on it. I, I haven't found a way to sell it yet. Uh, I might keep it. The, the character's kind of cute. Um, but I was not into the dark side. Like, oh, were they 
where they made like hentai of it. I, I, I was not into that shit. Like I was, I watched the show. I met with friends in college uh, that were into the show as well, and we just kind of met in secret. But then we wanted to start having a little get-togethers, so I would advertise around the school. And uh, a lot of those posters were like vandalized. Like, like people were saying shit was like, oh, this is why everyone hates the animation department, and uh, you guys are, uh, you guys are losers. Um, no, no one went with the F word, thankfully. Uh, but no, like our posters were, were destroyed, written on. But in the end, we ended up making a lot of friends. Like a lot of my very good friends, I, I, I that from SCAD that I talk to still, uh, I met through that, through there. Like I met my friend Shadia, who is the artist behind the webcomic The Ottoman's Daughter. Uh, I met her through the club. I met my friend Ashley, who's a voice actress slash cosplayer, and she did the voice of Aaron in my senior film. I met her through the club. She she did like a Rainbow Dash cosplay, and it was a very good Rainbow Dash cosplay. Um, who else did I meet? Well, everybody else that I already knew, but like uh, some two. Uh, that's two friends I, I made. Uh, two very talented artists and uh, actresses I, I met through the club. I still talk to them. I talk to them pretty regularly, actually. So. Wasn't a total loss, but uh, back to the part about the brony, like, the reason I left the fandom was not because of the dark side. I left because, frankly, I just lost interest in the show. I was watching episodes of it uh, while I was working on some uh, uh, homework in my last year. No, I think it was my second year. Second to last year. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm not enjoying this. I'm just, it's just not fun for me anymore. So I just stopped, and that was it. I sold my uh, figures that I collected from the uh, uh, the McDonald's promotion they were doing. Got a couple bucks out of that, and I just you know kind of trashed all my uh, uh, MLP stuff, except for the art that my friend Shauna got for me. I, I have that because that was very nice of her to give us a, uh, a print of that. So I, that's a gift. That's totally different. So yeah, that's my that's my Brony story. I was one. I am not anymore. Not because. Not because of the dark side of the fandom, although that's not convincing me to get back in. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done. That's my brony story. I could never do it. No, now would nev never be a good time, because the, 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 fan the fandom is just so toxic. It's it's almost like the Steven Universe uh, uh, fandom. It's just just far too cancerous. I'm sure, I, I, I know... A lot of I have friends who are very nice people that still watch it. They're cool, but the bad for me outweighs the good. So I, I can't. <laughs> Frankly, the as far as I know, it, the Steven Universe fan fandom has done worse because of all the stuff that was going on on Tumblr. But uh, nah, the the Brony fandom became the new Sonic fandom. It's just I can't. I can't. Anyway, let's stop talking about this. Then we're playing. I'm playing a gothic horror game, and we're talking about bright colored ponies and why its fans are awful. All right, so I got the club. And now I have to climb the mountain, Donkey Kong style. There's no way this was not a homage to Donkey Kong. Actually, wow, we went way over time. So uh, next time on the super bonus round, I'm gonna climb this mountain. So. Thanks for listening to those awful stories, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Bye. Later.